wine country, Sonoma, uh, you have Vallejo, and obviously power outages. I was driving down from camping in Sly Park last night about 8 o'clock. I drove by downtown Placerville, and it was all dark. That's a community that's been without power for, uh, I guess, right about the time I was driving through that. Uh, so Joey Prechtel is live for us in downtown Placerville. Joey, when we checked in with you, the uh, local businesses and people there say it was extremely light for business. You're impressed, though, with the number of people who are actually in downtown Placerville, yes? Yeah, I really am. I mean, the traffic that's coming through right now, even as you can see right behind me, there's just a line of cars heading through downtown. Uh, you know, we've been here for about two hours now, and just since then, it's the, the traffic has really picked up, both the street traffic, both the people walking on the sidewalks. It uh, really has picked up here uh, compared especially to the last two times that PG&E shut off the power here in downtown Placerville. And that comes from, you know, I talked to a store manager who said there's a lot more people here today compared to Thursday and compared to two weeks ago. And another store owner also told me the same thing, store owner that owns Man Cave Placerville. However, while there are more people compared to when they shut off power the last two times, they say, the traffic here today is nothing compared to our normal Sunday during the fall time. Even the store manager I talked to at the bookery said that this is actually somewhat of a ghost town compared to what it what it normally is. Now again, there's a good amount of traffic coming down here and an interesting thing about downtown Placerville is how the power is actually working. So on this side, my right side, for the most part, all those businesses over there are without power today. However, on the very opposite side of the street these businesses do have power if you can just kind of look down there maybe you can see a couple lights on that i can see and then just all the way down the block here these businesses on my left side all seem to have power and that's because after talking with the store owner of man cave the store manager at the bookery they all told me that's because the city actually has a generator powering this side of the street and because their power lines are underneath the ground on this side compared to on the other side where the power lines are above the street so it really is downtown Placerville is really just split into two different areas where half of them have power and then the other half is without power uh, but again, the store owner and the store manager say that with all of these power shot offs at three in the last two weeks, they say that it's really hurt the bottom line, really has hurt businesses because even today, you know, with a good amount of people compared to the last two times they were without power, I, again, still nothing compared to what a normal Sunday looks like for these guys. And they said that it's really costing them a lot of money. Even the bookery, they don't have power. They're still running, but they can't take any cards. So they're cash and check only. And people, customers that want to go in there, they have to use a flashlight if they want to look at the books. So they're definitely adapting, trying to get used to this since it has happened three times in the last two weeks. But again, from what I can see, traffic here has been picking up throughout this early morning and afternoon now. I'm gonna to toss it back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, Joey, we visited with you before and for downtown Placerville, which relies on tourism, especially weekend yeah. tourism, now during like Apple, Apple. Hill season mm -hmm. through Christmas, this is their time where the businesses, this is when they eat. And obviously you're saying there's traffic and it's just an odd mix of what's shut off and what's on. So people are still coming to downtown though. Yeah, some people are still coming downtown. Again, half of the businesses do have power. Maybe they've heard of that through word of mouth. Maybe the businesses are posting on their social media pages, letting people know that, hey, we're open. I know the town doesn't Tracy have power, Marsh. but we do today. Um, not quite sure what has grown, what has brought a lot of people to, uh, or more people compared to the last two times they were without power here in Placerville. Uh, but again, the store owner and the store manager I talked to, they said that today is definitely picked up compared to the last two times that their power was shut off. Okay, that's uh, Joey Prechtel, who's live for us in downtown uh, Placerville as the folks there deal with yet another power outage on a beautiful day uh, in old Hangtown and uh, during the peak of uh, fall and all that stuff.